Hi, I'm Jody Daly, and this is Let's Talk, where consumers like us talk about what matters every day. And today we're going to talk about the hub of the house, yes, the kitchen, otherwise known as where everybody hangs out. And we'll be there right after this. Rich people know all about quality. They spend lots of money to get it. But you don't have to be rich to get the quality you want in your everyday shopping. That's because store brands from your favorite supermarket, drug chain, or mass merchandiser give you comparable ingredients, taste, and performance at prices that beat the national brands all the time. Of course, you have to be a smart shopper. Try the store brands, use them at home, compare products and results. And of course, enjoy the savings. Maybe that's why so many rich people buy store brands too. Store brands, the smart way to get quality. So today we're talking about the hub of the house, the open concept kitchen. And it's a space where you cook, hang out, study, work, and pretty much live. So what's the appeal of this one big room for everything? Well, let's get right into it. Welcome to Linda Pace. You run the design firm called Pace Space that, among other things, helps people create living spaces that function like what we see in those renovation shows without having to break down walls. And then there's Mary Hannon, who has four boys. And full disclosure, I've been in her kitchen when everybody is they're doing something different and it really works. And Sue O'Brien, who is a home builder and renovator, who's been in the business long enough to say that this open concept isn't just a trend anymore, is it? It's here to stay. Here to stay. We are Absolutely. going to start right with you, Sue. Talk to me about, number one, how long have you been doing building and renovation? And number two, when did you first see this whole idea of big space consistently come into the play? So I began in 1998. In 2001, my husband and I started building. Um, we were not the GCs, so to speak. We were more of the consultants and then decided we can do this because everybody... GC meaning general contractor. General contractor. Great, the thanks. guy who oversees and hires everybody. See, I know all this little <laughs> lingo. Okay. So we decided we can do this and not just design and not just put together because we do know what people want because we are those people. Right. So, and not only that, but we were seeing them come in and everybody wants the same thing. This is the staple of what they want. The big, huge room, if you clog it up into different rooms and as everybody gets upset, claustrophobic. Yeah. Spaciousness of the house was what they were really focusing on. And when you make a layout of one big room, then you have a much more spacious house to sell. Well, what makes it so popular with everybody? Because, I mean, you know, there's all different kinds of families. Well, there is, but everybody wants to stay in contact nowadays. Everybody's life is so busy that you're jet setting here, there, maybe you're working, maybe you have all these act after school activities or wherever you're going. And when you meet in this hub area, everybody gets to see one another, see what's going on, watch what's going on. And you don't put any internet anymore like we used to upstairs. You don't put the Cat5 up there and have everybody plugged in. You make it down here so that everybody has to use all their electronics in the same space. That's a, that's a good tip. We'll have to remember that. Now, you also said when we were talking earlier about um, people still do want formal dining rooms and living rooms. Why? So it's very, very important to keep the traditional atmosphere. Oh. When you walk in the front, they want the center hall colonial. It's the number one seller. Living room on the left, dining room on the right, kitchen family room along the back. Mm -hmm. And everybody wants it. Whether you walk through it to get to the other rooms, they want it. Because if you're going to family entertain, maybe you have the kids in one room watching the TV. Maybe you have the adults in another room having their cocktail. And then everybody joins together in the open floor span. At, what, at some point. Which leads me to our next guest, Mary. You do have the living room, the dining room, but you also have an open space. And I've been in that place. Tell us all about it and don't leave out the size of the TV. All right. What I love about my layout is you walk in and you see a nice living room that is not cluttered, a dining room that's intact. They don't see what's behind, which is the big open family room, which can be a mess because everyone uses it constantly. So we might have toys out. We might have, you know, people leave their socks. <laughs> but no one can see that. When you walk in, it looks, I look so perfect. So that's what I love about it. And I love having all the kids together. We can bond. We can hang out. We can, you know, someone could be on the piano. I have a piano in there. Someone's doing homework. I have a computer in there. I have someone eating at the counter. Someone's watching a show. I mean, we're all there. We're all together. We learn about each other's day. When you say we learn about each other day, we were talking one time and you were saying that the refrigerator is the yes. revolving refrigerators. <laughs> Tell me about that. Yes. 
Uh, so everything is based around snacks. Everyone's running in. I have four children, and they're constantly grabbing a snack, leaving. Someone's eating dinner. I usually have a crock pot out for something warm to go. And the refrigerator just is our meeting place. What do we have? What are we doing? You know, so it's all about grab and go food. There's no, the family dinner is kind of a thing of the past for. What about um, just sending them to their rooms to do things? Because it must get kind of loud in there when somebody's on the TV, somebody's playing the piano, somebody's on the computer, somebody's yapping away. That's the fun part though. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, that's where, it, that's the, the reason I think that this sells so well. That's why you have four kids right. too. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's the chaos. Right. It's the, you know, the controlled, lovable, crazy chaos is what I love the most and why I like that room the most because if we're all in separate rooms, we're not bonding. And you're separate all day. Right. Yeah. And then right. you come together. It's right. the meeting room. Well, yeah. and you're seeing that in all the designs you're doing? All of them. Nobody wants it. If you even put a wall, you know, they'll break it up. Sometimes they'll put a fireplace if they want to make it seem semi-broken up. Right. Sometimes if you want to break up the noise, because that can be one of the cons to it, they'll add paneling. Oh, you know Sound about panels, this. We'll be talking to you about that in a minute. Right. <laughs> but I got to say one thing. It's not just kids, because when my mom downsized, she was going into one of those, you know, over 55 communities. She broke down every wall in the, on the main floor. She said no walls. And she has a co totally open space. So it's not just kids. It's not right. just when you have kids. Right. It's spaciousness. I That's think, the key. I also think the open concept has now become what the old family dinner table used to be. That's a good it's point. It's kind of where everybody, if that's the part of the day that you're going to get to see your family and spend time with them and learn about their day, then it's going to be done in a family room, maybe not around the dinner right, table. Right, because they're not eating at the same Correct. time. Exactly. That's a good point. That's a great point. That's a good point. point. Although we, I, I do love family dinners when we can get them. <laughs> um, and it seems so that it's any age then, that it, it's just the open concept. Well, when we come back, Linda's going to tell us on how we can use the space we already have to create an open space without spending a fortune on remodeling or moving. Repurposing is what we're going to talk about, right? Yeah. I like that a lot. We'll be right back. Billy works in a supermarket. He helps stock the shelves. One day, Billy figures out that there are 120,000 different items in a big modern supermarket. When he divided the number of items he usually stocks in a day into the total number of items in the store, he realized that it would take him nearly four years to get the job done. Of course, Billy is only responsible for the store brands, so his job is easier. There are thousands of store brand foods, beverages, snacks, health and beauty, kitchen and household products. Each store brand with quality comparable to the national brands, but less expensive. Billy smiled. Restocking store brands is a lot easier. And we're back and we are talking about open plan living and how we can take advantage of our own space to create that feeling without the time and money involved in a full-blown renovation. So I'm sorry, Sue, but, but we're right. talking about <laughs> something else right now. Linda, now you help your clients maximize the space they already have. And we got together and talked a little bit about some floor plans before she came on. And so I wanted to get you to show us how you can change a space and make it work better for somebody. So we have a couple of examples right here. So why don't we start with this one? What did you do? Okay, in this one in the lower right hand corner, you can see it's a small kitchen area. There's a doorway to the left. And in yep. this case, we took the table, I removed the table that was in there and decided instead to probably to put a four by three foot entry or table. It could be a pub style table. So you could do it as a drop off on your way in. And it's also now leading into the living room. Okay, good. Now what does that do that the other one did? What it does is it gives you more space in the kitchen for prep. In addition to that, it also allows you to have an area, if people are sitting in the living room, they can participate in the conversation as okay. well. And how about this one? Okay, in the next one on the upper left-hand corner, there was some large table in the diagram. And instead of that, you could put in there a butcher block countertop, right. a little more prep space. And in this case, uh, a friend of mine actually did this. They moved a long, skinny dining room table into the front entryway. And then as they walked in, it was really nice. You could slide benches under it. Yeah. And it was a great gathering space. Cool. And how about this one? In this one, the current dining room, it's a very large, uh, the kitchen is separated a lot from the living room. Right. So instead, you could take a very large island. And in this case, you could either do it horizontally as shown, or you could do it vertically. And in both cases, it 
kind of leads the living room into the kitchen for large gatherings as well. And last but certainly not least. Uh, in this case, there was a small kitchen, very secluded from the rest of the house, and instead gave it some more prep space. It had very little, now and a large island again. You stuck a little, again. okay, so the little thing on the side is you more prep be, space? Correct, okay, and sometimes it. those are mobile units as well. You mm -hmm. could get a, an island that had uh, wheels on it, so that could be moved into the other room even, or into the hallway. So uh, you taking notes over there, Sue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like to see what they want. I, I know, but th this this to me sounds like okay. They bring you in and they say renovate and break down walls and stuff. But this really works out too. What do you think, Mary? I love that idea. I love the especially the one when you're walking in in the the front door to it's, the hallway. Right, because sometimes that's just empty space and you could be entertaining exactly. there. Exactly. Or people put those great big round tables yes. and a huge thing of, of flowers, flowers on it. it. What are you going to use that for? Right. I think that's it. So what do you find your clients are asking for most? Well, it depends. Um, I work with everyone from apartment living to condo living to townhomes to large new builds. Yep. So everybody's needs are different, but I think everybody wants the same thing. They want time with their families. They want it, whether it be at a meal or whether it be in the evening or the daytime or the time, the little time that everybody is home and together, our lives are so frantic that it's about coming together. So whether it's having it together as a meal or sitting down at a large table or in a big family room with an open concept living, I think it all goes back to, you know, being a family and trying to slow right. down at some and point. And snippets of time, too. Correct. You yeah. have five, this one's home for five minutes. Let's Absolutely. make the most of that. Absolutely. So we want, we want space. 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 We want storage. And we don't have to worry about um, being messy um, in the back room while people walk in the front room. I, I think that's just perfect. I mean, I love it. Hide it away. So in, in the long run, what would you say is the one thing that you guys are going to take away from today? I'm going to take away that the open concept is here to stay. It was not just a fad. It was not just something that started in the early turn of the century, 2000s. It's still here today. Isn't that funny saying turn of the century, 2000s? Well, that is so weird for that's me. That's it. Jeez, and right? it's not 1900. I know. Right, right. <laughs> what about you, Mary? I'm going to take away ideas for creating different spaces, what you have to show. Putting a table, putting an island. I like things that are on wheels, moving it around. I was thinking about that, too. And what about you? Well, it... it I believe, in my home, I still believe in the sit down to dinner and everything else. I understand that's not, you know, typical for everybody else. And I do remember when my children were smaller that it was tough. But I do like the idea that everybody can see each other. You can, you know, what everybody else is doing. You're in the conversation, whether you're right. participating or not. So we it do is. it. We do it. We took out the kitchen table and just used the dining room. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I got great. tired of walking through it 11 times a year. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Linda, Mary, Sue, it really has been a pleasure to get all of your insights about this. And I, I'm afraid that you've just given me an incredible case of kitchen envy. There you go. <laughs> So for you, our audience, for more information on what you've seen on today's show, please visit us at Store Brands USA, the channel here on YouTube, or go to storebrandsusa.com for shopping information, recipe ideas, and more. I'm Jody Daly, and I'll see you next time for another edition of Let's Talk. <laughs>